When you tell your mom to go buy you Animal Crossing and she says we have Animal Crossing at home, this is what she means. Hello, fellow quarantines and whoever else is watching this. Um, today, actually yesterday, uh, we had the release of the new Nectar event in Zero, and I was supposed to make the video yesterday night, and I um, fell asleep earlier than I planned to, and missed my VP rewards and a bunch of other stuff, so don't do that, don't don't do that, I hope you started this event already, but as usual we're gonna do the event guide because you guys like these for some reason, and I mean it's good for me to also keep track of the events in the game, so that's also good, but anyway, uh, I am currently downloading Animal Crossing, waiting for it to conclude, and that's gonna happen after this video. But, uh, first quick announcement, I have decided to participate in the Vanguard Zero Championship uh, first qualifying round, which takes place tomorrow, uh, at 3 a.m. for me. And that's the main, when you ask, you know, why, why were you not sure if you were gonna participate, it's because it's at 3 a.m. <laughs> so, yeah, I've decided I'll take the L, I'll go to sleep at like 9 today, which, in, in hindsight, yesterday's early sleep was a good training session. Um, but yeah, and then wake up and I'll make a video out of that, my experience. Hopefully I don't lose round one because it is single elimination, but we'll see how it goes. But today we're going to go through the <clears throat> new Nectar event. There are There is one new thing about this event that wasn't there as usual. As you can see, I mean, let's quickly take our stamina and I can show you. You get your dailies, you get tw uh, 15 double rare uh, crystals things for new Nectar and then 10 of the event um, gotcha things. But then the other thing that you can get actually... Um, obviously first, make sure you do your character fights, that's where you get the tickets to roll from. So we're just gonna walk up to Asaka here, and just do, what is it, four, and we're gonna do four of these, and you'll see that we'll get the Neo Nectar event tickets. So when you use up 75 stamina, you get 15 of these tickets. Keep that in mind, this is important for what I'm gonna talk about next. So you can see here we got three each, so we used up less than 75, so we got 12, um, but if you use 15, you get uh, if you use 75 stamina, you get 15 tickets, but then they added an option where for 100 gems, you can buy yourself tickets. So if you want to be a clan one trick and you don't care about any other clan, then you can just buy those and get yourself the tickets. But it's, you only get 16, so it's only one more than if you did character fights, so you're losing out on VP, you're losing out on <laughs> character fights, and, um, well yeah, you're using up your stamina, I guess, really. So. I guess you can do that if you have spare um, gems and you really want that one clan. Like for example, for me, if 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 DP was in character fights, obviously I would buy it, so like on mass, uh, just to get more. But I already opened the the event uh, once already, so I have the story play out. But we are gonna go through the fights and uh, once again get to the very hard. As you can see, I missed very hard yesterday as well because I am an ape, and so unfortunately I wasn't able to. Get it done so let's go through MLB this is the deck that we featured I'm gonna just let it auto fight and talk to you guys while it does but so I'm gonna let this first fight play out it's gonna be quick but so this, the main story of this event is that um, my Emmy's friend is getting into the game and Neo Nectar has been introduced to her so that's kind of the main gist so it's nothing actually too special um, in terms of like story but yeah so I am leaving it on auto let's see if my, um, let's see if the, the CPU can actually achieve MLB or not. But yeah, so, another announcement. Because I decided to participate in the Vanguard Zero Championship, I will be streaming today uh, some practice rounds for the game. So, essentially, I'm just gonna be uh, streaming, you know, myself. Uh, oh, looks like he's searching. I wouldn't do that too early. Feels a bit risky. If she gets a trigger here, that's also risky. Don't heal. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like, I don't want him to heal because then he can't use MLB. I mean, a Wingle Brave to get into MLB. But yeah, so, essentially, I'm going to be streaming today. I've been meaning to stream for a couple days now, but I didn't get to it because I've been busy with other things. But so, I'm going to stream today uh, to do some practice, you know, play some ranked, all that stuff. Uh, for the Vanguard Zero Championship, if you are also participating in the championship, please do let me know. It'd be cool to have other foreign folks participating. You know, I've already faced the daunting task of playing in Japanese tournaments. Um, not just locals. Locals are pretty chill, I would say. But it's like when you go to WGPs and stuff, that's where it's a bit like, ooh. Because, you know, everybody's like rushed for time and stuff. Okay, okay, let's see. So he's gonna swing there. And then s not swing you with the Blaster Dark every year. Why not? Okay. Hopefully no PGs in hand. Alright. Our CPU managed to achieve MLB. Very proud. 
I couldn't be more proud as a father. Alright, so we pick up that easy dub. Very nice. Mmm. A lot of you probably care about <laughs> what's actually in the, um... Oh, nice, we get a bunch of stuff. What do you actually get? You get the rings, you get the coins, and you get more coins. Okay, garbage. <laughs> Sorry, I just... I really don't like the coins. I feel like they put too much My Room stuff in this game, like I said before. It's the only bad thing about the game right now. But, I mean, even then, it's not that bad. But anyway, before we continue through the event, there's one more thing. Obviously, I think a lot of you care about which cards are actually in this event. And, you know... Um, playable. So as you can see here, we get these rings pretty easily, you just need to get 10 rings through gameplay to get them, and then you have a bunch of stuff. You get triple rare gems, you get packs, uh, for every 5 cards you uh, gather, you get PGs. Honestly, this first wave of New Nectar stuff is like, it's pretty good, but it's not gonna be like tier 1, or even tier 2 I would say, but um, you definitely want like PGs and things like that, simply because you are gonna need them for when Cecilia comes out, because that's when Neo Nectar will be good. So, which should be pretty soon. So, I can show you here what's out. So you have this little, um, um, what are they called? Blade Seed? Things? So these are the ones that are like, uh, they start with a grade 3, this dude, he's a triple rare. Uh, his name is Jean. So when he his attack hits a vanguard, you put him back to your deck and you search two of the grade twos. So and then the grade twos are here. They're double rares. When they hit the vanguard, then they go back to the deck and you search for one of the grade ones. And then the grade one, when the attack, uh, oh no, it's when his attack hits a vanguard. Yeah, it's not when it boosts. Oh my god, it's. Well, how did they not buff this a little bit? It aged so badly. So when his attack hits. The Vanguard, you can put him back to your deck, and then from your deck you search the Grade 3, but you have to call it in rest. I think they all call in rest, actually. Oh no, this one calls two Grade 2s, sorry, in rest. And then this one calls one Grade 1 in rest, and then this one calls one Grade 3 in rest. So, it's unfortunate that it didn't buff it a bit. It feels really, like, I don't know, not good. Let's just put it that way. But, yeah, the other triple red that you can get is Maiden of Trailing Rose. She is actually good. She's an on-hit, and when she hits the Vanguard, Combust 1, and Persona Blast, look at the top 5 cards of your deck and call 2 of them. So, Direct Superior Calling is very strong. It's a 1 for 2, so that's pretty good. Hey, yo, Pineapple's in the game. He's an 11k attacker. This is a 12k attacker. Uh, oh no, sorry, it's, it's a, when it hits Vanguard, it gives another unit plus 3k, so not that good. Uh, 10k Vanilla is good. This is like the Dudley, this is a on place. Check your top card of the deck if it's a grade 2 or lower, call it. So it's the same as the Transriser and things like that. This we talked about. This came out pretty early, which is pretty good. This is the um, Maiden of Rainbow Wood. So when her attack hits, Kamba's 2 draw a card. So a lot of clans already have this, but it's nice that it's here. DP didn't get theirs yet. Um, when this boosts an Iris Knight, 10k booster. And this is Kenomus 1 plus 1k, so a lot of these, like, typical vanilla, this is an 8k. Oh no, it's not an 8k vanilla, this is a Lian, so rest, dish one, draw one. And then here we have, this is a 12k attacker, when it attacks Vanguard only. And then this is the Kenomus 2, um, to stand one of your rear guards when it's attack hits the Vanguard, so actually not too bad. And then Heyo Pineapple, I mean, not Heyo Pineapple, oh my god, uh, the Tomato is Explosive Tomato is when attacks hits a vanguard for that turn one of your other units gets plus 3k so exact same as a dp one so those are the units they can get from this event so they're pretty okay i'm not like i literally only care about pgs and you get pgs from the event like for free not just from the gacha so it's really easy to get them and because of that i feel like you only need the pgs and maybe like the vanillas but the triple rares double rares like you, if you get them it's good you can play the deck a bit earlier but it's not going to be good until Cecilia, I can tell you that much. And Cecilia doesn't need a lot of these, like, the vanillas and, like, all this, these cards from this set in general because you have to play Musketeers, so, yeah. Gotta wait for that to come out. So, for now, I'm going to skip through as I beat all these fights and then we'll reconvene when we get to the very hard. Let it be known that the CVU failed to MLB this game and called Blaster Dark and Blaster Blade while I'm Palamedes. Uh, I have managed to finish my coffee so far as we're doing this. The next step is for my Animal Crossing to finish downloading. Wee! It took so long because she had a PG. Let's get this out the way. We're almost at hard. My Animal Crossing is 2% away. 
We're two minutes away, sorry. We're almost done, boys. It's almost time for the Reggie meme. You lost. Oh, let's play Animal Crossing. Oh, I guess I gotta take this into my own hands, huh? Okay, we managed to get through hard. <clears throat> Let me show you where you can buy the tickets. <clears throat> God, my throat. You just click the little plus next to the ticket button on the event, and you can use your gems to buy as much as you want, 16 at a time. So you can get a bunch, but let's quickly... I need to... I'm just gonna use up these. We're gonna just get as many of the rings for the gacha as possible. Open some packs first, and then we'll do the very hard. Because some people might not be interested in the very hard, but I hope you all are. Alright, and we get the very hard unlocked, so that's also good. And so now, let's take a look at what we can pull. Hopefully, I mean, like I said, I don't care about the triple rares too much. Maybe Maiden of Trailing Rose is the only one I care about. Just in case I feel like releasing a cross ride in the future or something. Um, so let's open one pack first and we'll open 10 so you can see a total of 11 packs opened. I know other channels do crazy things like 50, but I'm not about that <laughs> life. Alright, so we got a couple rares, nothing too special. But pretty nice. Alright, let's open another 10. Hopefully you get a triple here. Yeah, I was more excited for the spikes to be honest when it came to clan events. Grand Blue as well was really good. Ooh, we do get a triple. But yeah, I hope they rerun Grand Blue sometime, because I really didn't do much there. Okay, that grade 2, that double rare actually is quite important. That one actually does see some play. <clears throat> so that's good. <clears throat> Alright. I got... Oh, nice, okay. That's 2 down. We we'll definitely want that as a 4 of, but the double rares are pretty easy to get usually from these events. I usually get a place at all double rares with a not... Ooh, SP. I mean, that'll be spare. Materials if necessary. A PG, that's good. PG is definitely very important. But yeah, usually the only thing I don't get is the triple rares in playsets. So far I've failed both times to get full playsets. Oh, we got a Jeans, so not a Trailing Rose, but still pretty nice, I guess. Although, to be honest, I don't know why he's a triple rare. He really isn't that good. And another one of the great two uh, night things, so... Not bad for the first few pulls, but now let's do our once per day very hard, and I'll take it on with the end, I think. Um, I feel a bit more safe with this deck, I guess, and I can build bigger numbers. So, alright, you just skip, skip. Oh, it's actually a pretty good hand, it's actually a pretty good hand. I didn't check if we're going first or second, but we'll find out soon. We're going second. Okay. So that's pretty good. Obviously on very hard, the um, opponent does have buffed power, so as you can see, plus 2k on all units, but, you know, nothing too difficult, so it's okay. Alright, let's go like this, <clears throat> uh, well, I'll just fight battle here. Sorry, my friend just texted me that we have increased by 300 cases in a day of the virus, which is great, but anyway. <clears throat> Stay home, folks. Stay home. Alright, so she's pushing the offensive. Somehow, all the games where I left it for the auto, my I would go first. Every time I took over, I would go second. Not sure what's up with that. Ooh, Aramo, top deck. Actually, I didn't... I can use the Gojo and then overcall it, actually. I'll do that. Oh yes, I guess I can search a PG off my Conro here. That certainly works. Or I can just not do that. Da 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 da. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna use Conro just yet. I'm gonna call down the Airmo on the side. It's very strange, but I'm gonna do it like this. Do it like this. Because then my Vanguard still hits for 17, so it hits for magic numbers, so that's good. Yeah, I can still use it. Drop this Gojo here. Get a third the end. That's good, that's good. That's what I want to see. That's my image of victory. If I may. Alright. So, up to 3 damage already. Rising to Trailing Rose. I don't think she has any animations. I think there's not a single animation for Neonectar. Just kind of sad when you think about it. 
Okay, she might have one PG in hand. Chooses not to attack with a gene to Vanguard, meaning she can't do the search. Which, I mean, I don't really care about, but... X man. Alright. Hopefully we can... Ooh, stand, though. That's pretty nasty. That's gonna be a 20... Ooh, 27? Even a defensive won't save me, so I'm going to 5 regardless here. I'm gonna be banking on some heals. Or a Bellicosity top deck. Okay, heal works too. Heal works too. Still Bellicosity top deck necessary, but heal definitely helps. So we can do the end once. That's good. Get into Halem. That's also nice to see. I guess I'll search a PG now, because otherwise I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> so, let's do the searchy searchy. Yep, and then this will be an 18k column. This will be 10, but we can just leave it for now. Um, I have a lot of triggers. Actually, not that many. Ah, uh, I wish I was cross right now. I want to attack unboosted. No, but then if I don't hit, then I can't do the skill. Never mind, let's boost. Let's boost. You never know. See? Ah, yeah. Wow, gets a stand. Pretty strong, pretty strong. In which case, I mean, I guess I'll attack rear. I'll attack into the gene and just stack a trigger on Van. Oof. Well, I got my fourth the end, I guess. But no damage to actually use it. Okay. I'm gonna draw. Into a bar so we can make a column next turn. That's good. Column. Alright, let's just take out rears for now. She only has one. She called her Trailing Rose, which is really weird. She can't Persona Blast now. Oh yeah, I can do this. Let's do this then. I guess having it on rear isn't too bad. Lessons learned. But yeah, we have two Grade 2s, plus the PG in hand, so we're definitely staying alive. It's just a matter- ooh, no Grade 2s. That's also good to see. Good to see. Alright, so taking out rears there was the right call. So we're gonna go up to 5 here. If she checks the, checks the crit, our PG will trigger, so not bad. Uh, stand? Well... Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll take the one damage from the rear then. Good thing I searched the PG. Otherwise I'd be dead. <laughs> Quite frankly. So it's gonna be a 24. Swinging to Van. Heal please? Nope. Draw is fine too. Heat Nail Salamander will not... Actually, yes, it can target the grade 1. But, ooh, okay, top deck. Um. Da -da -da -dun, da -dun, da -da -dun. Let's call down the end because I can't do anything with it right now. Just make 18k columns. I can't use the skill or anything, so. Yeah, I just have to pray for no defensives there. Let's get rid of the heat nail, maybe draw into a PG. Ah, oh, Bellicosity a bit too late. Would have liked that a bit earlier. Then I could have used the end. So that is a PG in hand, and this will seal the deal, unless there's a heal that did not mean to rhyme, but alas, I'm happy that it did. Okay. Okay, nothing, nothing, and then if she doesn't check heal, then we win. So let's see. And then that'll be your very hard clear for the day. Yes, we get it. So we get our 10 triple rare gems for the day. I missed out on yesterday's. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please play the event every day. There we go. Oh yeah, we need to get 4 or less damage to get 200 of the rings for the pack, so I'll get that done tomorrow. Otherwise you just get coins, which is pretty sad, but yeah. I'll do the 4 or less damage some other day. This event is on for at least 10 days, I think, normally. So, plenty of time. Let's accept our missions quickly and then we're gonna close off this video. Once again, reminder, I am gonna be streaming um, some of Vanguard Zero today, after I play a bit of Animal Crossing probably and work on some other stuff and edit and upload this. But... Yeah, so we got five missions here. Let's see what this is. Okay, nothing here, but we get... Ah, oh yes. Get ten new Nectar cards. Consider it done. And we get ourselves a PG and a floor mat and a pack. I am saving packs, so no pack opening for you guys. I've been saving them up uh, for the next set because I'm afraid that Vermilion will be out sooner than expected. So yeah, we got some packs from it. So pretty good stuff. Alright, so... That's going to be it for this My Event, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you play the event yourself. If you're a Neon Nectar diehard, then you can buy the tickets for the gacha yourself, without, or for the character fights, rather, yourself. And then you don't have to spam character fights, but in my opinion, it's better to 
use your gems to refresh your stamina instead because you get more stuff out of it so yeah that's gonna be it for me today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye